Hey, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel for an update on my Tricopter Scratch Build series. And I've done a few things off camera again. Naughty me. Yeah, um, well, as you can see, I've put some tape on uh, the rudders. That's not really important, of course. But, hi, Onyx. Hello. Hi. I have also. Onyx. I have also uh, put uh, control uh, rods, control rods, yeah, control rods on the rudders, so they are now fully hooked up to the servos. They should work as it is. And uh, in the last video, I left you with uh, saying that I would make landing feet, landing feet out of uh, PVC piping, but I didn't. <laughs> what? No, um, I uh, used some um, uh, spring wire. Spring wire. And this is uh, quite strong. It, it looks a bit flimsy, but that's mainly because it has no grip whatsoever on this surface. It just slides all over the place. And uh, well, let me show you those landing feet a little better um, well then of course they won't create any drag because they are flimsy and as you can see there's a Z band over here and over here um, and then I've uh, secured them with hot glue and it feels pretty sturdy this one's a bit longer to uh, um, guard the rudders a little I have no idea how that will turn out. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, as you can see, I have also hooked up everything. Everything has power and signal. <coughs> and what other thing, what, what more did I do? Well, that's, that's it, I think. Yeah, and um, well, as you can see, this is a bit of a mess now. So I created this and uh, then we'll go around the wires to clean it up somewhat and it will allow me to mount a lipo there. tuck the wires in there we go it has a, a slot cut out at the front to for the two ESC's um, I could have made it a little longer but this way I can feel the, the ESC's if they are running hot and um, yeah the last thing uh, to do in building uh, this thing is uh, really uh, attaching this and uh, well, why not just at least try that right now I'm gonna strap it down just with some tape. It is a little thin though to get tape around the frame. Can't hold the wire in. So well, let's just see. Hmm. It's even more thin than I had anticipated. Dirt. We need it to be that hot. Right. There. It's now hot on my hand. Okay. There we go. And uh, well, let's turn it over to see where I have space to run something from over here. Yeah, okay. Go on. Uh, pretty sure this will be completely stupid on the YouTube. Okay. Oh well. There. Alright. Done. That won't fall off. Well, like I said, uh, of course the props will need to go on, but um, basically we can uh, see if everything runs, if the motors run, if the, the rudder uh, turns side to side. So, let's just do that. Radio, radio on. Okay. Where has my connector gone? It's over here. There we 
go. Um, this board needs a few seconds to initialize. Uh, this uh, two-way radio is a telemetry uh, telemetry radio, by the way. With that, I can um, connect uh, to the tricopter with my laptop and um, see uh, where the, the, the copter is flying, how high, everything. And I can uh, tell it where to go. But, uh, well. I'm not uh, sure if I'm uh, going to be using that much, but just for the fun of it. Okay, uh, let's arm it. There. I'm going to give the rudder a full deflection so you can see what the maximum deflection of it uh, is. Okay, well, that is basically it then for the build. It's uh, ready to test fly. <laughs> so, um, if you uh, don't hear anything from this, uh, this uh, topic again, then you probably know uh, what happened. But uh, well, uh, I'll uh, put it on film anyway. So, uh, see you back in another video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Bye bye.